This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on how to create DVDs and Blu-ray discs using Adobe Encore CS6. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to set a chapter marker and change the poster frame inside Adobe Encore. Notice also that I have five chapter markers here. We create a chapter marker by putting our playhead where we want the marker to appear. Type the letter M for marker, and notice we have a green comment marker. Double-click the marker itself. It opens up the Edit Marker dialog. We change it from a comment marker to a chapter marker. We give it a name, which is essential, and we'll call this Test Marker, because if you don't name it, Encore can't grab it. So markers must be given a name and must be saved as a chapter marker. When you're done, click OK, and notice we now have a red chapter marker. Double-click the marker itself if you don't want it, and click the Delete button, and I'm back to the five markers that I had before. Whether you decide to create the video inside Premiere or create the video inside Final Cut, the process of editing video for DVD or for Blu-ray is the same. And notice each one of these has got a thumbnail, which is the poster frame for that particular chapter marker. And if I right mouse click, now I can preview from here. I can preview at the glass submenu. So I don't have to go back to the top of the DVD or the Blu-ray and navigate through 17 different menus. I can preview starting with that submenu. It opens up the preview window. Now these are stills. They're not moving. I haven't found a way to do moving video in Encore. If you need to have moving video composited in each one of these boxes, create the entire background inside Premiere or inside Final Cut and do everything you need by by compositing and putting the borders around this as a single video file. Bring that in and simply add button regions over the area that you want to be able to click on inside Encore. That would be the easiest thing to do. Now when I click on In Furnace, there's the furnace. Go back to the menu. There's the... Ha well, wait, 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 wait. This has got to be the most blob-like thing I've ever... This is just a terrible poster frame. <sighs> If I click Exit here, it goes back up to the flowchart. I'm going to say Exit and Return because I want to stay with this menu. Let's go back to the project, open up the sequence called Glass Blowing, and notice when I park right on top of that chapter marker, we're in blob mode. Not the world's best poster frame. Select the marker. With the marker selected, find the frame you want to use as a poster frame. I want that one right there where he's got the smoke and the the hot glass, and it looks just spectacular. And on the playhead, but right above it, right mouse click and say Add Poster Frame. This poster frame is now related to that selected marker. Notice I selected the marker first, then I created the poster frame. You can grab the poster frame and drag it back and forth to find exactly the shot that you want. Now when I go back to the flowchart, Double click on the submenu. Notice the poster frame has instantly changed because we've now selected number two, this thing right here, to be the poster frame inside that shape. Right mouse click, preview from here. There's our changed poster frame. But the video starts at the original marker. All we did is change the image that goes in the button. The actual beginning of the chapter is as we would expect. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering creating DVDs and Blu-ray discs inside Adobe Encore. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 123. Membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.